Hello, hello, hello everyone, Acromimax here, and welcome back with more Dragon Quest Heroes. The World Trees Below and the Blight Below. Slime Edition. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. Slime, slime, ball. Mm-hmm. That Dragon Quest 3. That Dragon Quest 3 music. Ba 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 Yeah 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 Fantastic we don't need to hear it about it Alright Do 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 Let's see what we're doing The Trading Town of Colossi Alright we don't have any like new things He hasn't there was that one Thing that he hasn't like uh, deciphered yet. The area of conflict. Our heroes have successfully safeguarded the world tree root that suddenly appeared in the city. The world tree root. <laughs> the world tree root that suddenly appeared in the city. But this is no time to be celebrating. There may be even more brutal battles ahead in this arena. Let's do it, baby. Colosseum. Oh, oh. Just the arena left. Once we've cleared the place out, Colossi will be back in the hands of the good guys. I fervently pray that no such cleaning out is required. Pah! Then you pray entirely oppositely to me. I hope for plentiful monsters to make great training for tournament, whensoever such should occur. So this takes place before Dragon Quest IV? Or is she assuming that... There's going to be a tournament here because it's an arena? Because Elena's all arc in the beginning... The very beginning of Dragon Quest IV is going to a tournament to prove her strength. Ah, <laughs> fine words indeed, Sarevna. I dare say a pugilist of your skills would go far in such a competition. Truly, then they must restore peace with utmost haste and insist that tournament is resumed instantaneously. Yeah, that's just you're looking for. Come to combat. Way ahead of you. Charge! I'm surprised my character didn't have anything to say about strategy. Oh my god, there's Terry. It's Terry from Dragon Quest VI. Fighting some fucking guy. Terry, the only character people remember from Dragon Quest 3. You are the first to try me so thoroughly. Interesting Spanish accent. The world's greatest swordsman, pal. Underestimate me again, and I'll try you clean in two. That makes a lot of sense. That's how people talk. Terry's gonna join the party. Must you always insist on blindly rushing in? Yes. <laughs> Is this the wizard from East 3? Oh, no, wait, that turned out to be a woman. Introduce me to your friends. What if I knew him? I work alone, Except one with Wreck and Carver and Millie and... Be my pleasure <laughs> to send them on their way. Bop, bop. <laughs> oh. Oh. Block that shit, somehow. What caused that? It's gonna be another character that, like, protected me, right? Somehow. We didn't try to dodge or anything. Luminaries. Except that none of these are actually luminaries, except possibly the main two characters. Must give thanks to whichever foolish deity so fit to drop you into my lap. Uh, Elaine is not having any of this. Elaine and Terry would get along really well. I mean, he's all moody and shit, but they would just talk about fighting constantly and just drive Kirill insane. Lightlings. Lightlings. Now that I have found you. He's so, like, avoiding St. Luminaries. Because, like I said, possibly the main two characters might be luminaries, but the others are not. Don't tell me when to come. Get back here! You can't just drop that stuff about light children and saving the world and then disappear. Maybe he meant to say light warriors, and this is a Final Fantasy game in secret. I mean, we waited ages to get like an action Final Fantasy game, and it turned out to be that like. Stranger of Paradise bullshit. Uh, we have to kill chaos. Get in, losers. We're gonna go kill chaos. Way, okay? I don't need your help. 
These guys are mine. Oh, Terry, you're so adorably annoying. An average swordsman might, but I sense that he is nothing of the sort. Nor is he our friend, for now at least. In short, his welfare is ah, talking. Oh my god, I agree with her so much. He's annoying. I'm gonna help him. I only picked him because he has like the better, cooler sword. But honestly, if I would have picked her, he would have been just as irritating. <laughs> All right, here we go. Defeat the killing machines. All right, I see what y'all doing. What part of I don't give a fuck do you not understand? Should probably lock on here. Oh, all right. That that was fun. He's pretty, yeah, staggered. All right. Oh, I was ready for it that time. Barely. Why am I locked on to this guy suddenly? There we go. Ugh. Why can't I... Ugh. Suddenly I forgot how to block again. There it is. Okay. I'm almost dead. Spoils. Uh, how do I do this again? How do I heal again? I don't have a way of doing that, do I? Just hang back and maybe I can get near... Uh, oh, well, fuck. Well, I have an Ixus leaf, so there's that. Thank you. All right. Now he's done. There we go. All right. Huh. That's what I should have tried to do when I was in trouble. Looks like they learned to work together. Should make things more interesting. Damn, I missed with that spell. Wait, hold on. Isn't the other one... Yeah, the other one's weakened, huh? Because I was fighting K at Killing Machine 3 at the beginning of this. I'm not sticking around for that. Oh, maybe I am. Okay. Just do the spell, damn it. Aha! Ooh, my body. Yo, that's two down, and I have high tension. Here we go. Shut up, Terry. That's like the perfect voice for Terry. Giga gosh. Shrekt. Not too bad. Awesome. Alright, cool. I told you to butt out. Yeah, but we don't take orders from you. We just... I was worried about you. There's just no way you could have beaten them on your own. Correction. There's no way you could have beaten them on your own. Except we did. You, you didn't help much. About him not being our friend. No. Nor was I wrong about his exemplary skill with a sword. He may be too reckless to prosper on his own. However, with my strategic insight, his martial... Shut up. Are you done talking like you know me? Whatever you think you know, you don't. 
Now, now, boys, it's clear you're both prize specimens. I love it's like everybody's dick is large. Now let's go back. But there's no time. <laughs> she even said, take your measurements. Mr. Super Swordsman. We've heard all about how good you are at waving that thing around. She's still talking about a sword, right? Let's just say I'm someone who's looking for something. Yeah, that makes sense. Someone who somehow ended up here, in your world, trying to find it. Hmm. Another visitor from a realm beyond our own. Well now, isn't that a queer coincidence? Friend, we humble few journey on a righteous quest to This is Dragon Quest Six music too. Monstrous mm. occupation. Mm. Noble mm. warrior, mm. will you lend your seasoned mm. sword arm to our cause? No. An ally of your standing would surely bring much in the way of confidence. Mm. It's a little out of the blue, but what the hell? This old Children of Lightning's got me wondering, so sure, I'll tag along for now. Name's Terry, by the way. I know. Don't I know who you are. This. And we got Colossus of Colossia as a achievement. So, do you guys know our mysterious friend in black, or what? Afraid not. It certainly seemed like he knew who we were, though. Indeed, he called us the Children of the Light. What could he have meant? Either way, seems like he's interested in you for some reason, which means he'll be coming for you. And when he does, I'm going to settle the score once and for all. I'll be sticking around, for now. Terry joins the party. I'll probably add him just to see what his... when he plays like. I feel like I want to play as Alina more, though, but I've been playing as, like, just the main character a lot. Sort of a basic bitch move, but whatever. Your Majesty, terrible news. What is it, man? Speak up. Yes. An urgent report from our scouts, Your Majesty. A horde of monsters is advancing on Sylvia. Even hollowed Sylvia will not escape their ravages. Curses, what of the villagers? Are they safe? According to our reports, the villagers have gathered up the el in the Elder's residence to mount a defense. But they sure are... But they're sure to be besieged, Your Majesty, and their numbers pale in comparison to those of the monsters from... I'm going to move the windows slightly there. All right, that's better. The eyes of Sylvia are all master magicians, and the forest there should give us some good cover. The village won't fall too easily, but still. Your Majesty, Your Majesty we must hurry to their aid. They cannot hold out forever. My thoughts precisely. We depart for Sylvia at once. Friends, prepare yourselves. I hope Gibbsy Noodle. Terry. A skilled swordsman with a super fast swing and remarkable reach, he specializes in electrified attacks. His lightning strikes skill frazzles foes with its shocking strength and fries mechanical mini circuits to bring them to a standstill. To learn more about Terry's... Okay. I want to add him totally. Especially since I'm not a big fan of Boomerang Girl. Laser printed map. Okay. Well, let's see if there's any equipment that I can actually afford. I, I wasn't even talking to you, lady. What are you bothering me for? See you soon. Like, I'm clearly near this guy. And I pressed the wrong button. Pottery sword. Yeah. For Lucy Sonora. Um. I mean, I only get one, but... There we go. Actually, I can get two. I want to add Terry into the group, too, though. Uh, that's this way. Alright, move out of the way. Alright, this is the wrong way. It's here. That's where it is. Oh, no, 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 not this guy. It's her. Patty. Patty's party planning place. There we go. He goes, what's a... Oh, wait, no, I didn't... Uh, I didn't do that right, did I? I think you have to hit confirm or something. Oh, I'm pressing all kinds of wrong buttons. Yeah, I didn't actually... Confirm. If you don't hit confirm... It doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. 
All right. You have a quest for me? Oh, you have mail, probably. Welcome to the Stoneclad Post Office. Handling all your letters and parcels with a smile. Something from the mayor. All right, let's see. Permit me to relay to you my heartfelt gratitude for delivering Colosseum from the brink of disaster. With the monstrous threat now quelled, our people thankfully unharmed, we can begin the task of restoring our precious town to its former glory. Once things have returned to normal, our arena shall play host to the most magnificent tournament this town has ever seen. I look forward to welcoming you as our esteemed guests at the time. Until then, I bid you a safe journey, brave warriors, ever your servant, the mayor of Colosseum. Cool. Wait, what? We did it. Colosseum is safe again at last. Why, why is the cutscene here? Your Majesty, you promised you would tell us more about that peculiar route that appeared, if I uh, recall correctly. Ah, yes. It almost slipped my mind. My apologies, friends. What you saw was one of the great roots of mighty Yggdrasil, symbol and protector of her glorious realm. What? Hang on, you mean the world tree? That massive giant thing all the way over in Arba? Arba. Like Arborea. It's definitely pretty big. But are you really saying the roots reach all the way to Colosseum? No, my dear, I'm saying its roots extend throughout the entire realm. And in places where they go particularly thickly, parts of them can sometimes emerge from the ground beneath, much as you've seen. And when they do, they nourish the land around them, bringing the warmth of light to places it might otherwise not have reached. And that is why every town, city, and village in our fair realm is situated in a place where Yggdrasil's roots emerge. I see. So it would follow, then, that should those roots be lost, the land would wither, and the towns and cities perish with them? Precisely. In those roots flows the very light lifeblood of our realm. We must not fail to defend them. It is likely that we will f uh, that we will find yet more roots in Sylvia, and in other places we have yet to visit. We must do all that is in our power to ensure that they do not fall prey to the monsters. All right. Um, all right, let's, uh, I see exclamation points. Ah, uh, Captain, I've been waiting for you. This is the quest counter where I can help people from around the world by carrying out simple tasks and running errands. The client for each quest will offer a reward upon completion, so it's well worth your while to come to the aid of those in need. I hope we can count on your assistance. Why don't I have a quick look at what we've got available? All right, let's see. Take on quests. Well, a bunch of them, huh? Improving on perfection one. I have a few improvements in mind for the prototype I gave you. Care to chip in by gathering the necessary materials? I assure you it'll be worth our while. I need three lumps of iron ore. Slime knights sometimes drop them. I'll be counting on yours. Ca oh, Captain. All right. Can you accept multiples? Or Let's see. Do, 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 do. Probably. Usually they let you do that. Happy hunting. Greedy for ingredients one. Ducky, dearest, isn't your in in ingredients bag starting to feel a little undersized for the job at hand? Well, not to worry. I can make you a new bag that's bigger and better. Get three of those grubby bandages that skeleton soldiers drop and leave the rest to me. Okay. I might have some of these stuff already, you know. Happy All right. Bar barred from the bar. A huge swarm of monsters is rampaging through Colosseum, and now my regulars are too busy cowering under their beds to prop up the bar. This is bad for business, and no mistake. You sort out this mess, and the drinks are on me. It looks like you can take up to eight quests at a time. Because it just says quest quota there. Happy hunting. Well, let me see if any of these are completed. No, okay. Alright, no bed of roses. I'm a gardener, and my flower beds are being ruined by a pack of imps. I know you're busy saving the world, so I let them be. But when they dug up my prized geraniums, that was the last straw. You must punish these pests. Reprimanding 100 of them should be enough of an example to scare the rest off. Stop, Gibbs. Are you sure you want to accept this quest? Yes. All right. Stop, Gibbs. All right. Ready for that jelly from Cheeky Boy. Does jelly really come out when you whack a slime? What color is it? Is it warm? Cold? Does it go wibble wobble? I have to know. It's keeping me up at night, but mom and dad just don't care. But you help me, right? Please get me two slime drops. I'll be your best friend. Quest, it, it actually says quest conditions already met. Okay, that's cool. Ready for that jelly. So that's cool that it tells you that. I like that. All right. Water to do from Dodgy Fortune Teller. I'm a fortune teller to whom the, mystery, the mysteries of the future speak. Yet all things fade over time, and so the power of my crystal ball wanes. I require three jugs of fresh water, often carried by heel slimes, for the purpose of restoring it. To what end do I gaze into the future? Only time will tell. I have one. But I need two more. All right. I like that it tells you the progress. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't notice that right away. All right, and a morbid appeal from an occultist. Some say my collection is macabre. Some call it gruesome. 
But collect I must, and presently I require certain something which Drakis are known to drop. Could I trouble you to acquire me three wings of bat? I would be most grateful. I simply must have them for personal reasons. I have one, so... Alright, so there's one that I know I can just finish right here, because it said quest conditions met. Yeah. Lucius reports successful completion of ready for that jelly quest. ba da ba 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 is it gonna go bonk? Yes, it goes bonk. Okay. Well done. And what do I get? A gold nugget. A nuge. Uh, you have some, but hold on. Let's sell that gold nugget right quick. Out of my way, sir. And any other gold nuggets and stuff that I have. Why is this one better than this one? It says highly prized hunk of glittering gold. And this one says they're called oh nugget. I see. I'll definitely sell that. And I have two of these. Mm -mm. I can't afford that. There's some shields here, though. These magic shields I can afford. Uh, definitely want to get one for Terry, because he has like no, most no defense right now. His defense is five. Oh. I should sell whatever equipment I can, though. Sell that. Oh. Yeah, they do sell that. I didn't see what it was when I... I can sell the iron gauntlets. No. Okay. Uh, wait, how much money do I have now? Enough to get another magic shield. I'm going to give that to Aurora because her defense is only eight. Okay. I think that's good for now. Let me see something. Oh, these are orbs. Which is basically armor. I should buy some, though. I haven't done that yet. So the best is the bronze orb that they have. Yeah. They're not that expensive either. So the lowest defense that I'm use the person I'm using is Elena. Yeah, I give it to Elena. And I'm not gonna bother with that. Alright, cool. Um Let's see. Welcome to the Accolades Counter, where your activities in the battlefield are rewarded with prizes aplenty. Try it by whenever you accomplish a feat worthy of note. You never know, we might have something for you. In fact, I believe you might be in line for an accolade or two already. Take a look. All right, let's see what we got. Monster suppressions. Zero accolades. Wow. There we go. Colossus of College. Oh, they're basically the uh, the achievements. All right. Congratulations. And I get a mini medal. Okay, cool. So let's see. The fundamentalist award for mastering the fundamentals of fighting. Okay. And I get another mini medal. Is it all going to be mini medals? All right, Dragon Slayer. All right. So it's a lot for bosses, huh? Congratulations. Uh, mini medal. Okay. And Giant Killer. Yeah, it's mostly bosses, it looks like. Congratulations. And I get a mini medal. All right. All right. Come again? Wait, I want to see what that monster suppression thing is. Here's a breakdown of your monster suppression progress. Pick a monster to claim any outstanding rewards. Please there we go. 500 slimes defeated, 5 medals to collect. Please okay. Oh. oh, so you just get... You get mini medals for this. Teeny Sanguini, Hammerhood. Please take this. Got one for Imp. Okay. Alright. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Laser printed maps there. The me the Mechon the Mechanoliseum? The, the Mechanoliseum. Right, hold on, I just noticed you have an icon. Captain. I wanted to ask you two something. Did what the man black said ring any bells with you at all? 
The men in black? Ah, oh, you mean the sinister figure at the arena and his talk of the Children of Light? Sorry, I don't have a clue what he was on about. I've never even heard of the Children of the Light before. Yes. Sadly, neither have I. Isla, do you have somebody to tell us? Okay. Well, my grandmother mentioned them once when I was a wee lassie, but I thought it was just a fairy tale at the time. It was an old story about how long ago powerful deities of light and dark kept the world in a state of harmony. Each of these deities passed on their powers to certain specially chosen people. The Children of the Light inherited the, pa the powers of light, as you might expect. While their counterparts, the Children of the Night, inherited the powers of darkness. And these two special sets of people made sure the balance of good and evil way was kept. That's how the story goes, at least. The Children of the Light and the Night. Hmm. But we just ordinary, we're just ordinary soldiers. There's nothing special about us. How can we have anything to do with divine powers? <laughs> well, it's too early to say anything for certain yet, but you never know. I'm going to have a look at this a little more. All right, interesting. Um, let me see about... What was that one quest that I had to kill a certain amount of monsters? I think it was imps, but... Which one was it? It's you. The kingdom needs your help. Okay, so... Imps. Alright, so I just want to go to a level that has imps and just whack them. Whack if you want me to kill 100 imps, I can do that. Oh, something happening. The world map's up to date now. We'll be ready to set a course for Sylvia whenever you are. Ah, Sylvia, the village from the forest, yes? That's the one. It's a beautiful place, shaded by trees, lots of babbling brooks, gorgeous flora and fauna. But don't let the tranquil surroundings fool you. The elves are expert magicians, and their well-earned reputation for being deadly with spells. Alas, magic alone will be not enough. Be not, uh, will not be enough to fend off the slathering monster horde that besieges them. They'll be needing some tempered arbon steel for that. Ah. Prepare yourselves, friends. We march on a forest filled with more monsters than trees. All right, hold up. Before we worry about that, let's see this first of all. Showdown automatrons. It looks like it's just the same boss we fought, probably, right? <laughs> It's exactly what it is. Uh, I want to. I want to play as Terry. All right. Do he takes some damage? Watch out. Back up, though. Oh, I should have jumped. I was like thinking. Move back, move back. Trying to see if I can find any healing, but well, the heal slime just healed me, so. He's gonna do his laser. Shoot the whoop! Ooh, that actually hit me? Damn. Ah, he's done. Alright, that was Elena leveling up. Aha! Oh, he did it again! Ah, oh, Terry. Where is he? There he is. Oh! We have high tension. He seems to build tension rather quickly. I want to see his coup de gras, you know? Get over to the other one before the cooter car comes out. Alright, here we go. Here we go. You asked for it. Lightning storm. 
Nice. Hello. That's a first for me, seeing that. Freaking Yggdrasil will leaf on him now because I was very not careful there. Got him. That's very bright. Boom. What well, look, treasure. Iron ore. Oh. oh well. I think I needed iron ore for something. I think I might need more than that, Mop, but yeah. That was nothing. I definitely want to play as Elena more because she seemed like a lot of fun when I briefly controlled her. But I'm going to stop right here, guys. I'll see you guys real soon with more Dragon Quest Heroes.